Alex Bennett here bringing you all the latest updates from IBC 2023 in Amsterdam. I am back on the Black Magic stand with Darren to talk about the new updates that have come to both the web presenter and the streaming bridge because they are pretty big, especially for people like me in the live space. Mm -hmm. What's new? Yeah, right. So thank you, Alex. Um, what we've done is on the web presenter HD and the web presenter 4K models, we've now added support for the SRT protocol. So this is a more secure, more reliable and more efficient way of sending uh, video data versus the RCMP counterpart that still exists on the, those products, will still exist on those products, but we've now got SRT as well. So the benefits of SRT being that it's codec, codec agnostic, so that yep. means we can send either H.265 or H.264 um, via SRT, whereas it was only H.264 with, with RTMP. The huge benefit though is its efficiency. No. So with SRT, it's up to 40% more efficient than when you're working with RTMP. Now, that means if you've got restricted bandwidth, if you're tethering to a phone, for example, then it's going to be much better for you because you're not kind of really using loads of data to, to be able to do that. So that's a huge benefit. What we've done on the, the other end is with the ATEM streaming bridge is we've added support to receive that SRT protocol stream as well. So that will recognize that from a web presenter HD and a web presenter 4K and be able to receive that on the streaming bridge ready to convert back to HDMI or SDI. So if you're doing remote production, these are two really big uh, updates that people should be yeah, getting exactly. to look at. Uh, and especially SRT, the other huge benefit as well, I think you may have mentioned it there, but it is low latency. So those points to point connections off very often are definitely one sub one second, but very often it could be brought real down. Do you know if there's any customization in setting the latency of that SRT? Uh, not in terms of the latency as far as I believe, but you can certainly go into do the XML, XML. Of, these, of these products and you can adjust lots of different variants within that. Okay. Uh, the latency I'm not too sure of, but certainly everything else is okay. customizable. Um, and then for the web presenter 4K, you've added H.265 support in that as well. So you, you've got uh, HEBC support in there too. Is, yes. Am I right in saying That's right, yeah. So okay. we can, again, the benefit of SRT is that we can now uh, utilize H.265 yeah. as well. So effectively, we can do all of that. Um, YouTube now has a, um, a beta for SRT yeah. as well. So content creators that are working with their content creator managers can get access if free invitation to, to utilize that now as well. So a great way to kind of upgrade the workflow. Okay. And um, custom URLs. I heard something about that in the web presenter. Are you able to tell us more? Yeah, that's absolutely right. So we've also added support for custom URLs. So if you're not working on any of the popular platforms and you want to stream to your own website, your own service, etc., then you can use a custom URL, dive into that and enter all, all the information and, and pipe the stream directly to there. Perfect. Um, where are people going to be able to get this? Is it a paid upgrade? Do they need new hardware? How, how do they receive this? It's available now. Um, it's completely free. So all they need to do is jump onto the Blackmagic website. They can go to the latest downloads and they can download the update for the Web Presenter HD, the Web Presenter 4K, and if they have one, the ATEM Stream Bridge as well. Perfect. Darren, thank you so much. So, yeah, if you're a Web Presenter or a Streamer Bridge user, update that now. It absolutely unlocks a load of functionality for you. If you want to find out more information about what Blackmagic have launched here at IBC 2023, the link to their website is down in the description below. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button because that really does help. If you want to keep up to date with all of my action from IBC 2023, hit the playlist in the top right hand corner now. And if you want to be notified as I upload new videos from IBC, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell.